If you're Joe Harris here, you have no chance of guarding Jalen Brown. None. Okay? You're not a good defender. Let's keep Jalen Brown to this part of the floor. Seth Curry needs to drop a little bit. But if Jalen Brown comes this way, now Seth Curry uh, can stunt, recover. But if you get beat baseline, there's not much that really that can happen positively. What is Kyrie Irving doing here? Al Horford has this ball. Look at this. Please, get back. Okay, give us extra numbers in transition. What are you doing? Now we just lost you in transition. Come on. Okay, I mean, Joe Harris can't even be on the floor right now. Look look at this defense on Jason Tatum. You're gambling here. Oh, and then let's finish it off with one more gamble there. You are terrible. Just more pathetic one-on-one -on -one defense. What is there to say? Go to Kyrie Irving. Why are you gambling? Gamble, gamble, uh, three. Got to communicate and transition. If you're Nick Claxton right here, you've got to be sprinting here. This player's got to take the ball, obviously, Kyrie Irving. Okay? You must come this way. Why? You can't go down the middle of the floor. What are you doing? Okay, what is Royce O'Neal doing? They throw the ball down low. Okay, Nick Claxton's coming in here to help. Okay, why is Royce O'Neal standing in the paint? Please get out. What? God, you have three nets, four nets in the paint. You have to have backside help. So first of all, you know I always want to hedge and push this guard out. Okay, but this player's got to be over here. Like, the, 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 just, you can't not have backside help. It's not negotiable. This Nets player guards these Celtics two passes away. But once this pass to the roll gets hit, boom, the Celtics have numbers. Someone's going to be open. There's more awful transition defense. This Nets player needs to be sprinting back, not jogging back. Look at him jog. Okay, stop. So if you'd been sprinting back, you're here. Now Royce O'Neal can get up and just force this player this way. There's no place for him to go. You have nothing to do but double right here. Your man's at half court. But, I mean, you're playing off. That just is a no. Okay, if you're Seth Curry right here, this is a mismatch, of course. Okay, so this Nets player needs to stay up. His man's across half court, okay? Just be in the vicinity to double. This player got should already be in, right? Right foot parallel to the block, left foot out, wide stance. So now if Jalen Brown beats Seth Curry, help? Help. But Seth Curry's going to play off Jalen Brown, so now he's going to bite on this pump fake and get beat back door. Why are you playing off of Jason Tatum? Please, again, is this a mismatch? Probably. The, this player can slide in a hair, but get up and force right into help. There's no place for Tatum to go. Why are you guarding Jason Tatum like you're on an island when you're not? Bad one-on-one -on -one defense. Why can't you take a quarter of a step back and show your hands? You cannot slide your feet when you got your hands on Malcolm Brogdon. You just can't. Yeah. Laziness is the only thing that that causes this Celtics player, Peyton Pritchard, to get ahead of this Nets player. That's just it. I mean, if this player sprints back, nothing's happening. But, you know, no. Got to be some communication here. Robert Williams is going to push off Patty Mills. Is it a foul? I don't know. It doesn't matter. They didn't call it. It's a live ball. So if you're Patty Mills... Okay, I don't know what you're you're either coming over here or if you're coming here, you gotta say something so this player knows to sink down here. But look at this. We have two Nets players guarding Grant Williams and no one taking Derek White. And it's not acceptable. Okay, so this big just got switched on to Jalen Brown. Now not many people can guard Jalen Brown on the perimeter in general, let alone a big. Okay, so we have to double. And you can see the Celtics are flattening the floor out for uh, an ISO. So we need to take out that ISO. Joe Harris got to come up here and double. Kyrie Irving can sink down, okay? Uh, if a pass gets made here, boom, boom. Now, if this player cuts, th this player can slide in and Seth Curry can slide in, okay? We're going to take advantage of the Celtics having all four players flattening the floor. But you got to double. God, I mean, the Nets just give up wide open three after wide open three. Again, if you're Seth Curry and you can't guard, we have to close these gaps off. This player's got to move in. This player's got to move in. So if I'm coming this way, I have help. I can stunt, I can recover. Same thing here. 
okay? But you just can't just be backing up. Never leaving anyone on an island guarding Jason Tatum. He is just too good, okay? So again, let's close these gaps off right here, and let's get up, and let's force Jason Tatum into this area here. There's nothing but bodies. So now, again, there's no place for him to go. There's none. Stunt, recover. Don't have to move your feet. I mean, you just can't let this happen over and over again. Well, it's nice to know the Nets have quit on this game. The Celtics have the ball. This player has to sprint back. You have got to sprint back 100% effort so you can stay in front of Jason Tatum. That Nets player is going to do just about the opposite of that. I mean, come on, man. Okay, this is one of the more embarrassing plays uh, of the NBA season. You have to be seeing the ball and your man at all times. Look at this Nets player. Is this not comedy of the highest order? Okay, so you're helping on Jason Tatum. That's wonderful. Okay, now Derek White is going to cut through. You don't need to leave. Okay, if Derek White's cutting through here, this player can take him. Joe Harris can slide in here. Because where Al Hor where's Al Horford going to go? If Al Horford comes this way, he's just going into more traffic, and Kyrie Irving can slip down a little bit. Okay, and plus he's guarding Robert Williams, who's not a three-point threat anyways. Okay, but you got to stay here. Okay, you just can't leave. And this player's got to play up and force him into this help here. It's like, there's just no, why? This is my last clip. I can't look at this anymore. Okay, again, you have help everywhere. This player's got to move in. But you got help right here. So get up. Either force this player here, this player can move in. Here, there's help. But you got to get up. The one way you get beat here is by doing backpedaling.